Hi everybody. I am back to do another Take 5 Art Journaling Challenge and uh, this one, and I'll link below Kyra Pays because she's the one who does chooses the five things. So a black pen or marker, so probably I'm going to use um, either my point eight, 0 0.8 or 0 0.5 lip pen. Um, add music paper, I have music paper here. Use India ink. Here's the India ink. Add butterflies. I have butterfly stamps and uh, blues and bluish green stamp pads. Uh, add paint, not using a paintbrush. So I have a sponge, um, I have a stencil, and I have three colors, a spray, acrylic, and some blues. So I'm just going this one, like, is it chromatic, I think it's called, when it's all one tone. And that is what I'm doing for this challenge. So, let me clear away some things. And I have gessoed um, some pages here so I can do this. Oh, and I forgot I put something under this to hold it. So I can find what it was that I put under here to make it not, not be all floppy. I think it, is it this? This works. Okay. <clears throat> so this is just an old book that I like to use um, for art journaling. So let me just make sure you can see the whole thing. And hopefully I won't move it. I do tend to move things. <laughs> Not on purpose, but it happens. Okay, so. Um, so let's see. Black pen and marker. Add music paper. So. I am going to use just part of this sheet, just tear this, and I'm going to just put it right here, and I think I'll tear a little bit more off, just to kind of give it a, kind of that torn paper look. I'm not going to tear the whole thing, I'm going to go like this. Okay, and then this is where it's going to be in the crease, so I'm just going to, actually I'm going to separate it there, and that's where it'll go. And I'm going to glue it down. Um, generally, I like to use, um, you know, uh, Mod Podge. But sometimes that makes my whole paper kind of sticky. So I'm thinking I'm just going to use my fingers here and just glue it this time. And I should just use matte, buy some matte medium or um, use some gesso, you know, because I could use gesso too. But I don't want to cover up this with white, so that's why I'm not using gesso for this. Oh, it just feels so good to be back, you know, like to be moved into my new our new apartment and to be able to create and play. Now, the only reason I have so much time to do it is because I think I mentioned that my hours were cut down to half time at work. Um, hopefully that won't be a situation that lasts forever, um, but for now, that's the situation. So I thought, well, I might as well just spend that time doing art journaling and other projects that I want to work on. And so, you know, that was kind of a, I think, a good option for this, to use this time wisely. Okay, so I have this down. I'm going to go... Like I got all these colors I'm going to do and I think I need to put something down under here because I'm going to be doing a little bit messy in a bit and I don't want to get it everywhere. So butterflies, India ink, paint, not using a paintbrush. I think I'm going to start the paint not using a paintbrush with some stenciling. So I'm just going to pick one of my blues. And just do this. 
have no idea how this is going to turn out, by the way. I'm just like playing. I thought, well, and I'm always doing this blotching. Look at that. <laughs> and then I'm going to like, I'm going to do some mixing up of my blues. Like I want to get some of this lighter blue in here. I feel like I blotched again. I can, I can tell. Yep, right there. Do some more of that lighter blue. And we'll do some over here. And then we'll go back to the blue that's a little darker and come in here with some of that and some of it over here. And some of it over here. So I just have kind of a mix of blue in there. Okay, so I'm just going to set that aside. Wipe my hand up. Okay. Okay, so I use those acrylics. Um, the next thing I want to do is add, I just diluted with um, like distilled water and acrylic paint. And so I'm just going to spray like this and just let it drip down. It's already got water in it, so I don't feel like I need to like add a bunch more water. So I'm just going to let it drip. So that's that. Now um, I want to add the India ink and also I'm going to use some water for doing this. Ah, these are experiments for me. This is not something I usually do so I have to like pray that it's not like a total disastrous mess and I know you can't see what I'm doing but I saw Kyra do this and I just loved it. And you just let this like that and then spray it with some water and you can get even more running, which I think is fantastic. And going to do something. I'm going to do this. Oops, look at this. I totally ooh, went everywhere with this, obviously. Okay. And I'm just going to pat this and open it. There you go. Okay. So that's the end of the super mess, I think. There's some other things I think I'm going to try, so I'll just leave this here in case I do. Uh, I'm going to do is just blow dry this a little bit real quick. There are some spots, so I dropped my paper, that don't have, um, they're a little wettish, you know, and I'm going to take um, a wet wipe, and I'm just going to come in here and damp, splat those up, and it kind of creates like a watermark on some of that when you do that. Um, I think I need to see where I'm at because I hope I didn't go off frame. I told you I was going to be like <laughs> so close with this. Am I staying in frame or going off? And you can see, right? Okay, so that's what I'm doing there. Now I need to get some white acrylic or just a 
cream acrylic. They didn't say, this is vanilla, that I had to like only use one color paint. So I'm doing some, putting some of this vanilla on a card. And I'm going to just do this. Like I said, I didn't have anything in mind. I'm just kind of doing whatever. Just doing a couple different things, seeing how it looks, if I like it. You know, that's kind of the beauty of doing an art journal. You can just do like this whole conglomeration of anything that you want. Now the reason I did, let me make sure you can see the whole book. The reason I did the white is because I want my butterflies to show up a little bit on here. Um, That's kind of the reason. So let's see if my little plan is going to work. Um, hmm. <clears throat> Let me take my colors. In the move, my colors got jostled around and a bunch of them opened. And I don't even have any idea if uh, there's even ink on some of these. I'm probably just going to have to throw some out because Unfortunately, this one's super pale. <sighs> Unfortunately, it did mess up things. Now these butterflies are going to be a little bit hard to see. Because I'm using like super light colors. them. I'm just going to wipe off my, kind of clean off my butterflies as I go so that we don't have acrylic like sitting there in the wings. I need another one. A fresh, <laughs> a fresh wipe. Okay. All right, let's try this medium butterfly. Looks like my blue stayed good. Yeah, that stayed good. I'm just going to put it around different spots. I am happy with that. Okay. That's good. And then I have one more butterfly, and that's my big one. So let me just clean this off. Uh, as best as I can. All right, and now I got a big butterfly, and I'm going to do that um, more than one color. So I'm gonna put the lighter kind of turquoise or green blue or whatever color this is and I'm going to just see if it works and it doesn't really so I mean there's a little bit but it doesn't really show so let's go with the definite blue And just gonna like overlap and whatever. It doesn't matter if it overlaps. Some of it's not gonna show. Some places you're gonna get the swirl of the wings like there. Love that look. So I think it'll just add to the overall appearance of this. Super happy with it. Super happy. 
so you'll see little bits of him of it here and there other places you won't just really like pale there and I think I need to do the edge a little more so I'm gonna go like this and I think I see one more spot So it overlaps, but it just gives this really cool look, I think. Okay, that's all I'm going to do there. So let me clean this butterfly. Now with these acrylics, I don't like to just leave them too long, you know. I think it's important to clean them off a little bit, so that's what I'm doing. Clean off my pad a little bit. Okay. All right. So let's see what's left here. I did the music paper, the India ink, the butterflies, the paint, not using a paintbrush. Um, and the only thing I have is the black marker. That's the last thing. And so I have to think how I want to do that and make sure that you can still see it. Okay. And I want to sing. I've got some phrases and I'll write them out in the black, but I want to see what they say. And you know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to use a Sharpie. For some reason, Sharpies um, write really good. Keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable. I like that phrase. I'm just going to do it first with this and then I'll come back over it. So that isn't going to work. Okay. Do I need to use my brush one? Apparently I do. Keep some room in here heart for the on e imaginable I don't want to spell it wrong. Imagine, I almost did too. <laughs> the unimaginable. Keep some room in your heart for the unimaginable. Un. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't even talk. Um, I'm also gonna, I'm gonna take a black paintbrush and go over this with some black paint. just feel like it's not sticking out the way I want it to. Like the the marker was fine, um, but it's not um, as dark on this stuff that I have down. So I'm just going to have to go over it. Otherwise, it's not going to show hardly. And I do want it to show. I'm not very good at lettering. 
I mean, if I if I really take the time and try, maybe, but not very good about taking the time and trying. And, and then I, I am going to go back and you do something with black um, pen and marker as well. Because I do want to do some marks on here. So I'm not sure, you know, how my kind of chromatic thing turned out. I don't know if chromatic only refers to like the black and gray and all that, or if it can refer to just like using different shades of one color or whatever, but imaginable. I'm still like, did I spell this right? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Close enough, right? All right, so let me make sure we're in view again. And now I feel like it needs um, some help. So I love what Kyra does. I'm totally going to copy you on this, Kyra, because you do your... Um, I know you like to do your border, your messy border. So, and I love that because it, and this picture I feel just really needs it more so than um, other ones I've done. This one I just feel will benefit from that. So I'm, I'm taking your idea and using it. Oops. doesn't look you know quite the same as yours but it works so just that I like that um, the other thing I'm going to do is little curly cues like this Do a few here. I know they don't, you know, they get it gets gunked up, I know. And I'm just doing a little bit. black acrylic is still wet so I'm just trying to be careful <laughs> not to touch it too much okay I think that's good all right so there it is um, I think I like it it's very blues and greens and I like those colors I think they look pretty so yeah that's that one and I will link below um, Kyra's. There were a bunch of other ladies in Kyra's post that were taking part in that collaboration. So if I link you back to Py uh, Kyra's original post um, first, I don't know if it was this one. Actually, it wasn't this one. It's the next one where it's a whole bunch of the ladies doing it. But I'm just gonna, I'll come up with the title for this and post it along with the Take 5 art journal challenge. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.